I got a couple of heaters, patio heaters, a small tabletop one, and a stand-up one. And if my switch ever goes bad, and there are no instructions on how to do this, so you're simply going to open it up, take a look at what's inside, and simply go like for like with this coupler switch. Listen to it rattle. That's the way it works. It's not broken. You have a thermocoupler, a area that you're going to screw on and replace with the other one. I'm not going to go into great detail, but we are going to take this off and replace it. So let's get opening up the patio heater. We have four screws. We take them out. As we lift the cover up and off, you're going to take note that is where the coupler, the igniter, all at. As you can see, there is some work to take this off and replace it. As you start to take things apart, you're going to see right in here, there is the switch. You have to now get everything out in order to get to it. So you have two connectors to remove, a couple of screws, this part here, take off the top piece and slide things out. We have here is a thermocoupler patio heater tilt switch. It's like a kill switch in a car. If for any reason this lantern patio heater tilts over, it would stop burning. Now what we're going to only and only demonstrate and show you where the switch is at and talk on how to get it out. You're going to be needing this kit. If for many years these units don't work because they don't light up or what not, this is a kit you're going to want to get to replace your patio heater. If you listen to it, that is quite normal. It is going to start to tilt over and shut off by the weight that's inside. This is the thermocoupler. These are two connectors, and this is the sensor that goes into the bottom of the unit. Let's show you where all of the parts are located. You're going to have to take off the screws that are over here that's going to lift up the cover. And that is where you can see right inside the actual part and parts that need to be replaced. It is not that hard to do. It is a very simple and easy operation to take care of. If you take your time and take a couple of minutes, you'll get this part taken off. It may take you up to an hour just to simply sit down and take the other pieces off very easily. So if you're looking to replace your thermocoupler tilt switch on your old patio heater, like so, or a tabletop heater, as well. These are great replacement kits for you. So I hope you do take the time and could dismantle one and repair it yourself. I hope this kit is the right one for you. It is suggested that you do check online for the correct parts for your heater. And you want to make sure you take the correct measurements as well. As I am laying in my pipe, very simple indeed, I am checking out if this is the right size for me. When placing an order for your thermocoupler and tilt switch, you want to take measurements from the top to the very bottom and make sure that this is correctly for you.